Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Now let's continue with the bug boost converter design. To design a bug boost converter, some consideration must be made just like the one in bug and boost converter. So first, we need to assume that the circuit is using an ideal components. Next, we need to select the switching frequency where normally the switching frequency will be set larger than 20 kHz. But bear in mind that when the switching frequency is high, the switching losses will also be high and it will produce a heat. And finally, it will affect the efficiency of the converter where the efficiency will be decreased. And finally, we need to select the inductor value where the inductor value is normally set 25% larger than the L mean to ensure a continuous current mode or CCM. Okay, now let's try this example. So, this question asks to design a bug boost converter to provide an output voltage of 14 volt from a source that varies between 12 volt to 18 volt. So, if the resistor is 10 ohm and if the output voltage ripple must be less than 1.5%, specify the switching frequency, the duty ratio, the value of the inductor and the value of the capacitor. So, how can we solve this problem? First, we need to specify the switching frequency. Now, let's choose 50 kHz as our switching frequency. Next, for the duty ratio, it can be found using this formula. But please note that the negative sign here indicates that the output voltage has the opposite polarity from the input voltage. So, it can be ignored. So, Vr equal to Vsd over 1 minus D. And then, uh, we must consider this input voltage as it is ranged between 12 volt to 18 volt. So, we need to consider for both cases. So, when Vs equal to 12 volt so we will get 14 minus 14 D equal to 12 D 26 D equal to 14 so finally we will get D equal to 0.538 okay Next, when Vs is equal to 18 volt, so we will get D equal to 0 0.438. Next, to calculate the inductor value, we need to calculate the value of the L min first, where L min is given by 1 minus D square R over 2F. So, when Vs equal to 12 volt, L min is given by 21.34 micro Henry. Okay, only then we can calculate the value of the inductor where L is given by 1.25 L min. So, for Vs equal to 12 volt, we will get L equal to 26.68 micro Henry. Then, when Vs equal to 18 volt, L min is given by 31.58 micro Henry while L value or the inductor value is 39.48 micro Henry. Finally, to calculate the value of the capacitor, it can be obtained using D over RRF. So, when Vs equal to 12 volt, C is 
71.73 microfarad. Okay, next when Vs equal to 18 volt, C equal to 58.4 microfarad. Okay. So this is the summary for this uh, for this question. So as we can see here that this converter managed to step down and step up the input voltage accordingly. Okay. And from the first column here, we can say that it is a boost converter as the input voltage is step up to 14 volt. Okay, so this is a boost converter. And for the next column, when Vs equal to 18 volt, it has been stepped down to 14 volt. So this is a bulk converter. Also, it can be not that when the D is more than 0 0.5, it will be a boost converter and if D is or duty ratio is less than 0 0.5 it will be a bulk converter okay so that's it for today thank you for listening